all right so uh, I haven't made a video for a while I've been a bit busy also preparing to, uh, to go away for a couple of weeks so I've just been a little bit busy on other stuff but I just thought I'd make this uh, video just give you an update on the USDX and the latest turn um, I've taken with it and I think you'll like it I hope you'll like it um, and I'll make another video a bit later on showing you more details how to do it if anybody's interested not that anybody might not be interested I don't know but I was interested in doing it so loads of modern radios as you know come with um, uh, waterfall and spectrum scopes and it's something um, I've never had on a radio before um, so I've never missed it so um, lots of people tell me how useful it was and I wasn't going to go down the um, expensive uh, Yaesu ICOM transceiver route which might have one of these um, displays incorporated so I thought I'd have a go at making my own um, and um, I'm just going to spin the camera around and I'll show you where we've got so there's the radio you've all seen the radio before let me just zoom out Whoop. there's the radio you've all seen the radio before there's the um, PA I made using the um, the kit from Ali excellent bit of kit that is really really good really pleased with it but the uh, power fets that come with it aren't particularly brilliant um, I've used some power fets um, I nicked from an old uh, hoverboard controller um, PCB um, and I'm getting about 70 watts um, up until about um, 18 megs and it drops off a bit rapidly then um, but that's okay I thought st I'm not interested in um, anything higher than that at the moment anyway but yeah that's pretty good I'm really pleased with that amplifier and I will do a, a short video on that at some point but let's uh, let's talk about this video this video is really primarily about the waterfall let's have a look so I'm going to turn the volume up on the radio So there we go, let's just zoom in, that's um, 20 metres, so I'm just going to get the pen, so this is where we're tuned, that strong white line there is our tuning line, that's obviously taking, um, it's seeing the um, the oscillator from the USDX which is really useful because it gives us a nice reference point so you'll then see aha uh -huh, hang on I'll tell you what I've done sorry excuse me I have a resolution right so let's have let's try again there we go, we're moving now. Very weak signal there. It's a shame because earlier on I had loads of signals up on here, I could have demonstrated it nicely. Let's wait for him to come back. QSO, thanks to Lima Alpha 6, Bravo Kilo Alpha, good job in 20, thank you in the 7 3. So, just to be clear, that's me tuning now across the spectrum. It's the, uh, I presume that's the new Russian over the horizon um, radar system, or newer, which has replaced the uh, Duga system, the woodpecker. Sounds very similar, doesn't it? Those of you old enough to remember the woodpecker will relate to that. Yeah. 
делать, как я не буду покупать, потому что они, они понимаешь, какие вот уроды, понимаешь, вот э, деньги берет, а ничего для панорамы не делает, понимаешь, вот, для нас. It's great because you can see everything. You can see the um, sideband transmissions. Now we're coming up to the data. And then even down here on the left hand side, you can see the CW. he says so let's just move quickly So there you are. Just thought I'd show you that. Um, got lots and lots of adjustments and customization you can make to it. Let's have a look at, shall we say, 40 meters. Bearing in mind it's about 10 a.m. And we can zoom in on some of these signals. Um, let me just move on. Like okay, I've forgotten how to shift it. Bear with me, people. Okay. Uh, okay. It's not quite what I wanted to do, but nevertheless. So let me just. Uh, There's our mark. You can see our marker there. That's me moving the marker with the dial. Let's just slow that down. This phone is really odd, I don't know what it does half the time. Um, anyway, I'll ignore that. Sorry about that, Mike. Um, but I just walked the dog and, uh, and came back in and... Um, Lots of uh, French stations there. So anyway, that's the, um, the scope. Loads of adjustments you can do on it. You can up here, let's have a look. We can increase the uh, spectrum range. Oops. There we go. Should you so wish. You can alter the gain on the waterfall, which is quite nice. And you can also adjust the refresh rate on the waterfall. There you go. It's very, very simple. Very, very simple to do. Well worth the effort. 
I haven't um, finished it yet, which is one of the reasons I'm not going to uh, go into great detail about how it's done until I've uh, tweaked it a bit and changed um, a few things. But I can tell you basically. So I went on to Wish and I bought myself for less than £12 um, pound sterling delivered. I bought myself one of these. There we go. Took a while to come, but it did come eventually, and it took even longer for me to set it up, I can tell you. I tried various different bits of software, and I found eventually that the, um, I think it's called SDR Uno, works really well. Um, there was one called SDR Angel, which looked much more basic and had everything on I wanted, it, I wanted but I just couldn't get it to run on this um, receiver. But this one runs um, perfectly, quite a large installer file. Sadly, it does need a 64-bit um, PC. Um, I've got this, my old PC here, which I was hoping to use uh, just for the um, waterfall and scope. But um, it's only 32-bit, and the software just doesn't run on 32-bit. So um, that's not really a problem. I might buy myself a little um, a cheap second-hand monitor from somewhere, and then one of these micro PCs in a stick and just have it sitting here um, just on this. I've had to uh, change a few bits in the uh, radio. I've got a socket on the back of a radio now. I've got a TNC socket on the back of a radio which feeds the receiver and I've had to use pin diodes and some capacitors in the um, back of the receiver, transceiver uh, to block the RF. But that does work. Let me just show you. So let me just come off and make sure we got Is this frequency in use, please? Is this frequency in use? So there you are. That's monitoring my own transmission. Golf 7 Echo Whiskey Lima G7 EWL. Test. So uh, there you are. I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, I need to speed that up a little bit for me. Let me just do that. That's better. Golf 7 Echo Whiskey Lima G7EWL Golf 7 Echo Whiskey Lima test. Uh, I'll just reduce the power, but to this it makes no difference because I'm taking the power from the transceiver. So it doesn't really make any difference whether I turn the amplifier on or off, really. Um, so I will do another video of inside the receiver. I just want to perfect the. Um, the, the way I'm switching the aerial over at the moment. I'm not sure I'm going to stick with the pin diodes. I think I might change that. I did try taking it um, from a point on the um, straight off of the USDX. I can show you where I took it from. So we come down to the circuit diagram here. Um, I did take it. Did t try taking it from there, and it works really nicely. And you have all your switching done automatically. But the problem with that is uh, the scope seeing some crap, presumably from the processor, and it didn't like it at all. I was getting spikes all over the place, and it wasn't a nice clean trace. So I went back to uh, doing it at the aerial socket and taking it from there. Well, I hope you like it, and um, I think it's worthwhile doing. What's really nice about it as well, doing it this way, you can, um, so for example, at the moment we're monitoring um, 40 metres. Just turn the volume up on there. So there we go. So what's really nice about it, we can carry on monitoring uh, uh, 40 meters, and then we can turn the radio uh, up to uh, 20 meters. So if you're looking out for something on uh, 40, local coming up or whatever you can actually uh, carry on monitoring one band while operating on another. If you want to uh, then listen 
to the uh, band you're operating on, you would then turn your audio on. Oh. Sorry, excuse me. So we're now on the audio of the um, the rate of the uh, computer, and we have to use the cursor then, which is no no problem. So you've got two ways of tuning uh, the SDR. So, hope you like it. Um, I will do another video a bit later on and um, show you how I uh, put it together. It's very, very simple and a very, very cheap way of getting a spectrum and a waterfall display on your um, bog-standard USDX. And I don't see any reason why you couldn't use any form of USDX or SDR as transceiver to do this with. Mine, as you know, mine was a mine started life as a white button, um, and uh, I don't see there's any reason why you can't do it with um, with others. Okay, well, thanks very much for watching. I hope you found that of some interest, and I will do another follow up video at some point of um, of how I did it and do a schematic. Very very simple, very very cheap. You know, so just to recap, probably for less than fifteen pound sterling 20 odd dollars i've added a spectrum scope and a waterfall it's not perfect but for that you know amount of uh small amount of outlay i'm more than happy with it okay thanks very much good dx everything's really good at the moment 40 meters has been good uh, i keep on hearing people say it's terrible but i've never heard it's so good 40 meters has been brilliant 20 meters has been brilliant had so much, uh, heard so much DX on uh, 20 meters recently. It's unbelievable, um, which is quite nice. And uh, as of Tuesday, I'll be operating as uh, Yankee Oscar 2 Echo Whiskey Lima because I'll be at my other QTH, my second QTH. I will be taking a radio with me, but no, uh, no amplifier. Okay, seven threes for now, and um, hopefully catch you all again soon. Cheers.